just real quick, in the aftermath video, you guys, we got down to zero degrees. I was begging it to go below zero, but it didn't. We got down to zero. One of the most beautiful drives I've ever been on in my entire life. Take care, guys. Good morning, everybody. It's February 24th, 2022. This is the aftermath. We're gonna do the whole entire valley. So you guys can see what it looks like. This is gonna be awesome. Um, it's 6.30 in the morning and it's 10 degrees right now. I think the temperature gauge is gonna go down a little bit because it's always warmer when I start my car for some reason, so. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go by Bear Mountain first and then Snow Summit so you guys can see the ski resorts. Oh yeah. Look at this, nobody on the road. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talk talking about. Yeah, it's kind of hard to breathe outside because it's really cold. Now it's nine degrees. Yeah, it's really cold out there, man. There's no one behind us, so that's why I'm gonna go really, really slow. You know what, I'm just gonna do a quick little, uh... I know they're, they're not gonna be too thrilled, probably, but I, I'm not parking in here. I just want you guys just to see real quickly. Beautiful resort. Bear Mountain Ski Resort. Unreal, guys. What a beauty. What a B E A U D. All right, we're 
gonna turn around and go back out the exit and come back in. Yeah. But this is awesome. This is awesome. That's pretty irritating that people would do graffiti up here like that. Keep that stuff down the hill, please. I mean, can't we keep one beautiful spot in Southern California left? Like, please? That's so irritating, man. Look at the moon up there. Wow, this is beautiful, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna go by. Well, let's get the nice view of the Bear Mountain sign right there. Let's go by Snow Summit. Get a nice view of Summit, and then we're gonna drive around the whole valley. And then I'm gonna get me my McGriddles, dog. She. I said she. I didn't say that the SH word, I said sheet, like sheets for your bed, like holy sheet. And I was hoping the five degrees would get a little colder, but you know what? Uh, that's pretty much what they said it would be, so, wow, something was correct in the forecast, I am absolutely mind blown. That's like a magic trick because they're wrong all the time. So being right, I feel like they perform magic. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, now it jumped up to seven. It skipped six. But at least we got down to five. So that's really cool. Right, I just love this place, you guys. And I love you guys a lot, man. Okay, we're gonna turn left here on Willow. Have you seen the movie Willow? I went and saw it with my dad when I was young. When I was really young. I don't know why I remember going to see that. And we went to a movie theater at the South Coast Plaza Mall. I grew up in Newport, and so we would always go to like Fashion Island to Edwards Big Newport or Edwards Island Theaters and uh, yeah, once in a blue moon, Triangle Square, once the Triangle Square was built. But uh, yeah, we went to a movie theater at South, like uh, just outside the mall. We also went and saw Rambo there too. I don't know why I remember these stupid things, but I do. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing great today. Hope you guys got a good night's sleep. Hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I love doing this. I love doing this a lot. Especially right now when there's gonna be no one on the road. This is just freaking awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna start our drive by the heaviest area of snow, which is over by the Big Bear Dam. And right here too, there's, there's quite a bit of snow. We're probably not gonna go into Upper Moon Ridge. You guys saw that yesterday in the after, not the aftermath, this is the aftermath, in the uh, off-roading video. So nothing really changed up up there from that last video, I guarantee you. Even though it's probably, it's probably close to zero degrees up there. So that's why I would want to go up there to catch that, but this is already going to be a very long video, so I don't want you guys to get irritated with me. We are on Switzerland right now. Look at some of these houses, guys. Like, that's one house. That is one single freaking house. I can't even get the whole camera in it, basically. But they have a lot of those up on, on, like on this street, just right here. A lot of these just monstrosities, and I love them so much. I'm so happy for people that have busted their asses to and sacrificed in life. Instead of going out every Friday and Saturday night partying, they educate themselves. 
and they take risks in life to get things like this. It's just awesome. It's really, really awesome to me. I admire those people so much. When I was a kid, my mom and dad used to always, like, if we drove by a really massive house or, like, a, a very nice car, they'd say, hey, hey, honey, if you stay in school and you and you do well in, in life and study a lot, you can have anything you want just like that. And nowadays, it's like, when you drive by a really nice house or property, like this huge one right here, too, people don't have much nice to say about it. But you'll notice it's only the people that aren't willing to put in the effort or sacrifice in life to get there. And it's just so frustrating. I, I, I just don't get that mentality, why why being wealthy is such a such a bad thing these days. I mean, it's, it's just mind-boggling to me. I, I, I wish everybody would take the time in life to to bust their asses, man, and do everything you can to have a more enjoyable life. Like, I mean, yeah, none of this is gonna change your emotional state, really, but I'd rather be super depressed and live in a mansion than super depressed and worry about my bills. Like I do now, <laughs> you know? So, look at that one. That looks like a freaking Aspen house right there. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, look at these. I love all you guys, man. I want all of you guys to, to succeed in every way in this life. Because we only get one shot at this thing. We only get one shot at this. Compared to the other houses, this is like a small one, but it's still like 5,000, 6,000 square feet. Just amazing. And there, a lot of them are Air, Airbnb properties. One day we'll be doing those houses, guys, I promise. We'll be staying there, I promise. Not permanently anytime soon, but we'll be, we'll be renting it and showing ourselves that it's possible. Seriously. What I want for all you youngsters is, is to really, really do the best you can at life and strive for greatness. Don't settle for second best out there. All of you can do it. All of you can do it, man. You guys are so intelligent, so awesome, so loving with such big hearts. I mean, you guys are so amazing and kick so much ass. I love you guys so much. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you'd be any better if you're rich. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying life would probably be more fun to, to be able to live like that. I mean, shoot, like, I, I mean, come on. If, if someone offers you a new iPhone or this or that, you're not gonna say no. A, a, a brand new awesome TV, you're not gonna say no. You're gonna take it. If, if someone offers you like, like extra rent money, you're not gonna say say no. But, Hey, what's up? I, I'm, not, I'm just gonna drive through the parking lot. I'm, not, I'm just driving through the parking lot just to get a video. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Have a great day. Thank you. I'm just driving through, you guys. Yeah, man, yeah, for my YouTube channel. You know who I am? <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah, you? bro. Great to see you, man. Yeah. yeah, so you know I'm definitely not gonna park and, and be yeah, sneaky, right? Cool, yeah. yeah, dude, good to see you. Yeah. Sorry that I'm putting you on here, but yeah. I'm, I freaking miss you, dude. Yeah, that's it's, cool. it's great, dude, guys. <laughs> dude, right on, right? Good yeah, to see you, man. Bro. Dude, dude. Great to see you. Yeah. It's freezing out here, it is, dude. dude. It's like the coldest morning in like two years or something. Right, like five that. degrees. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Dude, Ryan, great to see you, man. Yeah. Dude, you, hit me up. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Thank you. You too. Dude, that was so cool, man. That was so cool. Oh, I love it. So there's so Summit right there. So we're just going to. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. There's nobody here yet, guys. See, this is why it was great to come here at this time.
coldest you, coldest day in two years. I think he's right. Wow. Oh man. I hope we're getting a decent view, you guys. I hope I'm not screwing this up. Maybe if I'm further away. No, probably not. But we need to stay in these apartments right here as well, guys. That was so cool, we saw Ryan. No way. Okay, that sun is popping out over there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that sun. Anyway, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool, man. And I rolled down my window and it was fine. So that's okay. I can't believe it didn't have any issues. In one of my other cars that I had up here, when I rolled down my my windows, I did two of them at the same time and I heard two loud pop, pop. The insides exploded. But I think it was minus two degrees outside. And so that sucked because it was $500 each window. I, um, I was driving a Mercedes ML 500, the SUV Mercedes. And that happened, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get to Big Bear Boulevard, finish the tour. It's probably gonna be an out or about 45 minutes from here. And the reason why we're going this direction also is because we're gonna avoid the traffic coming into town if there is anything coming in right this moment. It's 6.54 a.m., 5 degrees. And today we're supposed to get just above freezing. Yesterday we didn't even get close. Big Bear Boulevard, look, nobody that way. Not really anybody this way. Um, I almost said the F word. Unfreaking unbelievable, you guys. Only thing that sucks about going this way is that I have enough to come all the way back to get, get my McGriddles. My McGriddles. My McGriddles. I like my McGriddles. Okay, guys, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like in the dam and Fonskin area because we didn't do that yesterday. So this is going to be sick. There's my McGriddles. They're passing. I don't know if you guys remember, but... There was a girl who works there called Ashley. Just so cute, man. So cute. And uh, a lot of you were like, dude, you should ask her out. You should ask her out. I'm too scared. And anyways, I just don't have time. Like, I'm always freaking busy, so it's really, really tough. As much as I always talk about how I want to get married and have kids and stuff like that, like, it's, it's just tough for me because I want to be able to, to give a fair amount of time but I'm always so busy, so it's, it's kind of a, a, a selfish venture at, at this point, but I'm trying to build up my life so I can have an, you know, an enjoyable life. And staying busy and, uh, and doing every, everything I can to generate income is, uh, is paramount to my happiness right now. Wow, this, it's gonna be beautiful on the lake, you guys. There's gonna be probably some fog coming off. Yep, there is fog coming off the lake. Dude, I love this, man. I freaking love this, bro. And there's nobody on the road. This is freaking sick. It might be like this for most of this drive, you guys. You know what? We're going to go through the village. We got to go through the village. I can't do this drive without going through the darn village. I hope I got into the turn lane on time. Well, I'm gonna back up. There's no one behind us. I just kind of make sure that I got into the turn lane properly. I don't think I did, so we're not triggering any signal. Oh, there we go. This is another place I like to stay, the Robin Hood Resort. It's right at the base of Welcome to the Village. Oh my God, there's nobody here. This is awesome. How did, how did, oh my gosh, look at, look at the sun's rays. That's a, that's a dogwood, or a, a, 
not a dogwood. Uh, what's it called when when the sun has those like huge rays on it? When, uh, oh my gosh, I can't recall. But we're gonna have to point at the sun in a minute, you guys. I apologize, but you guys are gonna love it. out to be the most beautiful drive ever so far okay now I can't stare at the Sun that's kind of bad so that's yeah that's, that's a little bit tougher even with my sunglasses on it's destroying but well, this is literally one of the most beautiful drives we've done in Big Bear yet even though it's not you know the most snow that we've had but because it's such blue skies and there's nobody out here and I was able to get up this early do this this is up this is awesome and guys the time lapse that's going to be so beautiful i'm going to shut it off at about noon unless the sun's heat shuts it off by itself a little bit earlier than that that's what happened last time but it was perfect timing okay look at straight ahead you see that fog right there that's on the lake that's just on the lake because it's so cold outside i've stayed there too i enjoy that place when I stayed at most of these places, I rent their biggest amenities that they have. So at this place, we stayed in a 1,500 square foot suite at the place I just showed you on the right. And it was it, it, it was only like, since it was in the middle of the week, I think it was like 260 bucks a night or something. Maybe not even that much. I couldn't believe it. But we got the, the biggest lodging that they had. I think that room can go way over 500 bucks sometimes. Here's one of the snow play parks, you guys. For all you parents who want to take your kids sledding and on a, a little roller coaster type thing, it's so much fun there. It's called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. was a drive-in theater many years ago. I think it's kind of dumb that they took it down because it is the mountains. And I think it's a really beautiful place. That like, like what a perfect area for, for a drive-in movie. I can't believe these people are driving like this. Blowing me away, yo, blowing me away. The snow is getting deeper over here, you can tell. At least I can tell. I was feeling 
bad for, for those parking attendants, man. It's so cold outside. It's still five degrees over here. It went up to seven for a second, but now it's back down to five. Let's get a nice view of uh, Boulder Bay. Looks like part of this part of the lake's frozen right here. Yep, it is. Look at that. It's not too deep right there, but it's frozen. Not frozen enough to walk on, you guys. Please don't even consider doing that. Don't even consider doing that. I don't want any of you to lose your lives. Because you will fall through. I guarantee you it's not thick enough. But it is frozen on the top. Not the whole lake, but I, I bet all the edges of the lake are frozen though right now. And that is so awesome. Cove Street. One of my best friends in the world, his family had a beautiful, incredible home right, right on the corner of the lake on Cove Street. Still the nicest house I've ever seen in Big Bear. And I used to stay there before I even moved up here. It was such a treat staying there. Oh my gosh, it was such a treat. We would party so hard there. Oh man. We would just absolutely throw radios there. Yeah, the snow's getting deeper over here, for sure. Remember how much snow we're seeing over here and then when we get over to the Baldwin Lake area, you're going to be amazed at the discrepancy. Driveway? That's not gonna be fun. <laughs> formations are so beautiful right here too everything about this area is just amazing look at how high these these, uh, these snow snow piles are on the side so this would be the little arctic circle right here if you go straight that's snow valley ski resort up top there way out there all right here we go 
Oh, the sun's not going to affect us. Heck yeah, look at that though. Look at that lake. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire, man.
habitats right over here, somewhere right over here. Or maybe it's just on this, this next little block up here. That area do not enter so yeah it's, it's, it's got to be right here skin folks seven degrees six degrees sorry just changed place for breakfast. I might be joining this moose lodge. Someone sponsored me. I'm never too young to join one of those places. I joined the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge in Newport when I was 24 years old. But it's because my grandpa, I used to golf with him every Friday and he would spend a lot of time at the Elks. So with he and all of his friends, it was just so much fun. They were the most fun, fun people ever. One of his really, really close friends, Bob Black, owned the, the Catalina Flyer for many, many, many years. And so we would always get to go out on the Catalina Flyer and just pay tax. So it cost us like three fifty or four bucks, and we would get to ride on the Catalina Flyer to Catalina and spend the day and then come back on the flyer. not to get the sun directly in the camera but we don't have much of a choice right now. Guys we haven't slid at all either. This is great.
27 degrees.
so beautiful today, man. Fix that for a second so we make a little few, few more turns. Here we go. Alright, so you'll see there's a significantly less snow on this side of town like there always, like it is always.
45 degrees. Loving it. Just looks really cold out here, doesn't it? Now it's four degrees. Wow, it's the coldest it's gone so far.
this out here compared to everywhere else in town. This is always the case out here in Baldwin Lake, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's really cool. But I want to be able to have the windows down to get the best, best video.
right here as well, but I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll stay positive. Let's, let's hopefully get down to one more. Come on. One more below, baby.
minutes already. By the time we get to my house, it'll probably be like seven or eight degrees. We're not too far. And you guys are getting a beautiful tour today. I love you guys so much. It's good to see you guys, man. Five degrees. Man, we were so close to going below zero. Unbelievable. Here's another really fun snow play park right here. It's called Big Bear Snow Play. sledding there and stuff like that and then that neighborhood I always point out to you guys that I say is like a little house on the prairie neighborhood it's coming up right here on the right hand side across this prairie So cold. Take a look at this side. We don't really look at this side too often. You guys do not want to park on that side and go sledding. A lot of people do. There's signs every 50 yards that say no parking and people still do it and they wonder why they get ticketed. Once one person does, then a bunch of people start parking there. You don't want to do that. I don't want you guys to have to spend a bunch of money on stupid tickets up here. That can dampen your good time. So we're coming up to the lake over here on the right. Just past this street is where the lake is. train horn doesn't work when it's this cold. It sounds like a little whistle. It's, it's, it's so cute. I tried using it last night. Catalina the back road into Moonridge because I'm sure they're going to have 
the entrance to Moon Ranch a little bit blocked off right now. The resort's done open for another hour and a few minutes, so. This is what we're gonna turn left here anyway on Catalina. Cycles from my house to Bear Mountain to work in this type of weather. It was the dumbest thing in the world. It, it was a street bike, but I got to park right next to the door to the kitchen because I worked in the kitchen, and it was freaking awesome. Like literally, I parked right next to the door, and, and everyone would be just tripping out seeing a freaking motorcycle pull up in this type of weather. I don't know how I didn't crash. I really, I really don't. I don't understand how, how I didn't crash on that thing in these types of conditions. I think the biggest snowfall that I ever went out in was like three or four inches. It wasn't often, you guys, because most of the time when when my other car was broke and I was completely broke, I would hitchhike. And when you're wearing like your bare mountain outfit and stuff, you'll usually get picked up pretty quickly. Love you guys a lot this was a great time we got down to zero degrees i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna let you guys know in a short short little clip that we got down to, to zero degrees in this video that's pretty cool you take care bye you guys i love you guys very much it's february 24 2022 in big bear california this is the aftermath